before you jump into your portfolio, think about like, how will I use this? When will I use this? And what is kind of the flow of someone as they first learn about me? That's awesome. Um, so that's why I just like, I really, really encourage, I don't force, but I encourage my students have the PDF and the, the constant feedback I receive is, and I'm paraphrasing, once I decided to make my portfolio as a PDF, it went 10 times faster. I've been working on my website for six months. I finished my portfolio in two weeks. Like, it's because yep. you think the websites are going to be easy to use. I tried to help a friend with Squarespace a couple of years ago uh, to make a little website for her fashion thing. It was so hard. I was probably overthinking some of it, but basic things I thought I'd be able to do, could not do. Right. Um, and yeah, I probably we wanted to do more than the average user, but- we could have just done it way faster as a PDF. <laughs> when I found for even myself personally, I always joke because I, I give interview advice and resume advice, portfolio advice. Well, my portfolio on my website hasn't been updated in about three years. Yeah. Because again, it took a huge effort to get it Exactly. Up, but I can't go back and do it. I don't have time to go back and update it now. You reminded me of something. The other reason I'm making a case for PDFs, but I'm not mandating it, so don't uh -huh. tweet me, uh, is that... When you apply to roles, you should customize your portfolio for every role you apply there to. There you go. So how do you do that if it's a Behance? Or how do you Great do that point. if it's a website? People have told me they can do it on a website, but I think that sounds like a lot of work. If it's a PDF, what you need to do, and the beauty of the PDF, is you have one master file for your, for your portfolio, which has every project you want to include mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. Then... I apply at Domo, I think to myself, okay, open up the keynote, make a duplicate. Then I start to customize the portfolio for Domo because I think, oh, this project really relates to whatever the job description says. I'm going to move it up to the top or I'm going to delete these two that have nothing to do with anything that Domo would care about yep. because I have studied the job description and identified the things they're looking for, which also amazes me how much people don't do because they just see UX and job titles and hit apply, apply, apply. Yeah, it's all the same. It's crazy. Yep. <laughs> and it's funny because our our hiring at Domo is it's enterprise UX. And enterprise UX is very different than just like a B2C exactly. uh, app for somebody who wants to rent a bike. I mean, yeah. it's, it's very different. And so when they come in with uh, specifying in their portfolio where they've got enterprise experience, it's already a huge plus one for that yeah. individual. We're already looking around the room going like, they've got enterprise experience. Right. And if they can articulate in that portfolio and then also in the interview be able to say like, well, I decided to choose this project because I think it's a great example of, you know, enterprise onboarding. Mm -hmm. And even though it's in, you know, some other industry, I know I noticed in the job description, blah, 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 or in my conversation, yeah. that that's an example of like anchoring, as we talked about earlier, you know, in real life. Yep, absolutely. <laughs>